got something in my bones. Make me want a shot. Hallelujah. This is the video podcast series, Ray Charles Genius. Music and social change in America coalesced in the 60s with protest songs and the civil rights movement. As this decade of social change progressed, many artists used their music as a vehicle for political expression. In 1972, Ray Charles released his first carefully conceived political statement, A Message from the People. By this time, Ray was involved in every facet of the recording process, and for this release, one of his most important, Ray worked closely with Sid Feller to find the right music. Feller wrote arrangements, as did Quincy Jones, and a new collaborator, arranger and studio whiz Mike Post. You no, know, he came in, he said, I'm gonna do this thing of, you know, music from the heart about people and I said well, what huh and he said well it's had some has some it's not a concept album exactly it just has some meaning to me by the early 70s Ray Charles was one of the most popular and respected musical artists on the planet but since his 1946 professional debut Ray Charles had traveled extensively and experienced firsthand life as an african-american in all parts of the United States Frankie Newton who was a great trumpet player and uh, we were lock, walking along the street when I was very close to Frank. He wanted to drink one afternoon. We were lock, walking along. I says, come on, let's go in this bar, Frankie. And I knew his concern. I says, there's no problem. I, come on, nobody's going to bother us, Frankie. Let, let's, come on, it's right here. He says, George, I'm not going in there. I said, why? He says, George, you've never been black one day in your life. Listen, everybody. I got an idea. I think we ought to write a letter to the Congress of the United States uh, and tell them what's on our minds. Because we're the richest country in the world, and I just can't understand why we got so many hungry people. You know, I believe we ought to say something like this. Hey, mister, you better listen. A little child asked for bread with tears in his eyes. Mama said we ain't got none. And then they both cried. Don't you hear him? I said, don't you hear him? Damn it, don't you hear him? What in what the hell wrong with you here? Listen! Oh, beautiful. Quincy Jones arranged America the Beautiful, and Ray recorded what many people consider to be the definitive version. Something special about the people that can truly make a song on their own. Now, obviously, Ray could do that. I think there's some something in it about internalization, and believing it, uh, you might make the comparison to a great actor who makes a role their own, who becomes that person. And I think in the moment, you know, the great performers, the great artists, uh, make you feel it, make you believe it. Somehow capture the human spirit or the human experience behind that song and bring it to you. Shortening of a word or of a phrase, a slurring, uh, emphasizing certain phrases more explicitly and others kind of more sliding off uh, and and just laying back and then jumping ahead and hitting you you know timing that, that's that's the essence of of what makes individuals so unique Like all Ray Charles music, the message from the people is timeless, and its social messages remain remarkably relevant. This is Brett Premack, inviting you to join us again for the video podcast series, Ray Charles Genius. You know we need help and we ain't gonna wait. Got no talk, get to doing before it's too late. You see, I understand, fire and aid is well and good, but why don't you give some? Lord have mercy.